your one of your first roles you did like all my children right like you i know you don't talk about that a lot but like i always find these soap operas people go oh it's a soap opera but the amount of dialogue these folks have to learn and oh it, go was, up, it was terrifying I, I I couldn't do it. When I say that, I really I could not do that. I, I would I would explode. How did you? What were your What was your preparation like trying to do something like that? Well, I, I was very very nervous. I think my first time on All My Children, I played a couple of different characters on that a few years apart. My first time, I played a Canadian Mountie, <laughs> and Erica Kane. For those of you who are familiar with. Susan Lucci's character oh, yes. for a thousand years on that show was, was stranded on cobbler's Island somewhere in the great white North. And I was a Canadian Mountie, not like, you know, uh, Nelson Eddy, uh, not wearing the, the, the red outfit, but you know, in the office. <laughs> and, uh, oh, and, God. and I did my first episode, learned my lines and, and, you know, she had more lines than I did. So, so it was just a question of not screwing up. And, uh, you know, hitting your mark and, and just trying to be there and trying not to hyperventilate and, and, you know, all the experience doing theater all those years and having those opening night jitters, uh, helped, I think, prepare me for that. Um, the writing of course is not exactly, you know, Shakespeare or Arthur Miller, but, um, but I, you know, I felt like I, I pulled it off. I acquitted myself. Okay. I didn't soil my pants. I, I, I didn't, you know, fall off my chair and, and it was fine. And then, then I was called back. I was living with my aunt and uncle at the time off and on between uh, their house in Westchester where my five cousins grew up or, you know, couch surfing in Hell's Kitchen. And um, and my, my recurring line in my three or four episodes that I ended up doing was, we can't get out to Cobbler's Island to rescue Erica Kane because it's fogged in. So I must have said 13 different times, did you tell him about the fog? And, <laughs> and I, of course, my brilliant actor brain realized after I had done my first episode, when I went back to do my second, oh, wait, I'm Canadian, eh? So I need to say, did you tell him about the fog? <laughs> and so, so this character that I was playing between the first episode and the second episode, which were probably a few episodes apart, you know, in the grand scheme. <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing some of the diehard, all my children fans kind of wondered, wait a minute, it's this guy, it's the same guy, right? Why does he sound like a completely different human? Knowing you, you probably did really a lot of research with that, uh, with that dialogue yeah, or whatever. Yeah. 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 I was, of course we didn't have computers at the time. So I was at the library reading about the RCMP. Yeah. <laughs> 